previously on Titletown, Texas. There was so much build up to that first game. Harden now down the seam and broken up and intercepted. The Bulldogs are going to win this one 43 to 14 over Texas Wesleyan. This week's been kind of a bounce back week. My thought is everything I saw is fixable. And you don't change like your hand like this. Keep your pocket. If you don't get it, bounce it out. Do three, ten personnel. We got them. Difference from last week to this week, I think, is pretty dramatic. We're at home. We're playing in a stadium that we're familiar with. There's going to be a lot of people for the first time see what we can do. Is it cold? No, uh, this is like a swimming pool. Yeah. Like a swimming pool? Let me get in. Hey, I think I got a bag. Who? You do. <laughs> Why you be losing all the water? Somebody! <laughs> 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 I took a year off of football. I had left Abilene Christian. The first day I got there, they were like, we're going to switch you to defense. So I was like, I mean, I never played defense since I was like a little kid. So I left because I, I just felt like I wasn't going to shine like I needed to there. So uh, I came back home. I was just at home uh, going to community college, uh, working, just unloading trucks and just doing stuff like that. People, are you not playing ball no more? Like, what you, what you doing? One day, we got a call that my brother had been shot. We had a good relationship. Every time he came over, like, if I had a football or something, I'd be, let's go outside, let's go play kids or something like that. Or I'd just try to show him, like, look what I can do now, you know what I mean? Just try to impress him, because that was my big brother. Well, he ended up being killed. So that was the factor of me, like, I'm gonna go back to school and I'm gonna go play football again, because I want to do it for him. I seen they had a tryout here. So I was like, well, I'm gonna come up here and go to the trial and see, you know, see what's up. He looked like a pretty good back, you know. He was a big kid. We have our conditioning day. And he's running with the skill kids. And I'm talking the receivers, the DBs, all your, all your kids that can fly, right? We ran 16 110s, and they're all timed. Jamarcus won every single one of them but one. I was shocked. I still, like, I do it for him. Like, it's my big brother, and I want him to look from heaven and smile down on me no matter what. I know that uh, he, he says he plays for him. And after the first game, when we when we didn't, we just played so poorly up in McPherson, Jamarcus, he looks at me and says, the opportunity you gave me, I'm not gonna waste it. I'm gonna take advantage of it. I'm gonna, I wanna do something special. Man, I almost start crying, because it was just so unsolicited and just so, I mean, from his heart. So they're finding business applications for technology, right? Folks, that's what we're gonna do. Well, Coach Joe, he really wants us to grow as men and wants us to be great men one day. You know, and I always ask him, what do you want to study? What do you want to do? He says, I want to be an athletic director. I like coaching and like I want to be a coach in football because when kids going through middle school, high school, like that's a key time in their life, whether they're going to go the wrong way or they're going to choose the right way. So I feel like I just want to help them see like the right path is the way to go. Am I here to help win games? Yes. But to, to have young men have an opportunity to grow up and to, to become what they're supposed to be or can be. Um, that's more exciting to me than anything else. I talked to Fua and he, he went to JPS and he said the lady was trying to fix the leg and move it and everything and it was too tight. So then the guy went in and grabbed it and just did it. He said it popped and it sounded like a balloon popping. And I said, awesome. He said, no. He goes, it felt great after that. It loosened up and he felt a lot better. He wanted to know if he could play. I said, no, you missed practice. So. He's getting an MRI probably tomorrow. So Murph, you want to go with the, the schedule with us? Yeah, so at the end of the game, they want the football team doing the team song. Alma mater. Alma mater. Do we have an alma mater? We have an alma mater, and the guy rewrote it. How many are in the band? 35 right now. 
They're not bad. I heard a recording of them. They're not bad. Hold off on the snare drum with a tan of tune and tan of tune. So let's look at your new fight song. We didn't have a fight song. We looked all over the library, our music library, there was no fight song. We know we had one. Uh, Dr. B somewhere located a, a really old recording of it. He just wrote out the melody for it. And I asked him to arrange this for us. And so for everybody new, let's hear what it sounds like. And ya ba 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 Two, ready, and. Joe Perdon, very nice to meet you. Nice. Thank you. Very nice. Hi, ah, Sandra. Very good to see you. We're playing Millsaps College uh, this Saturday. It's going to be a tough ball game. But the twist to it is our president went to Mississippi College. Well, they were crosstown rivals, and so he told me when he hired me, he says, uh, Joe, I want you to know that the Millsaps game is the one you got to have. I told him that I didn't care if he won another game all season, we had to beat Millsaps. Our president told me, and he wasn't kidding, he didn't smile. Normally he has a nice little smile when he's done screwing with you, but he said, he said, Joe, you know, I, I really, I really, uh, we really need to beat Millsaps. And I was like, okay, that's great. He goes, no, and his smile went away. He said, because I went to Mississippi College. And that, that was his rival. So I said, well, President Slaybach, you know, uh, it's going to take a little while. And he says, what do you mean? You got several months. <laughs> so we will give them a run, and I do believe we're going to have to beat them. But again, thank you all for being here. Enjoy yourselves. And Marsha and Larry, thank you all so much for opening your home to us. Really give them a hand. We really appreciate that. All right. All right. All right. Yep, yep, yep. This is the first kickoff since 1941. Fall is in the air, Mark, and football is back at Farrington. I'm pumped up. Since I knew we was going to have a football game, I just wanted to come see it, and my son was willing to bring me, so here I am. This is what makes the atmosphere. Yeah, I'm, I'm so I really here. appreciate you. This well, is great. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, everything you good, do. Good group of kids that you got out here too. Yeah, That's great. Be okay. That's wonderful. Okay. I'm Fred Slaybach. Glad to meet so you. So when were you at the university? Uh, about two years before you were born. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> I graduated in 1972. Oh, that's young. It's time, fellas. It's time right here at home. Everybody's got everybody's back, right? Yes, sir. Play to the echo of the whistle. Everybody feel me? Yes, sir. All right, Brother Lee. The only thing you should be focused on is God and your assignment. And once you understand that, you'll be great. And I say, our Father, 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 our well, howdy to all the Wesleyan graduates, wherever you are around the country. You've been waiting for football. It's back after 76 years. Big salutes to Ram Nation. Better hit the ground. Heads is called. It is hit. And we are underway from Farrington Field. Short kickoff, grabbed at the 9, 15, 20. Pop ball comes loose, they fight for it. Let's see who gets it, there's a scrum. Looks like Wesleyan has it, they do it. Wesleyan on the opening kickoff. There's a handoff coming left in the corner, 20. And then getting crashed down at the 16-yard line is Jamarcus Jones. 
there are backs inside of Hardly fumbles and he almost lost it as the left side of the line was coming in a hurry. Back back and a 30 yard field goal hits the left upright, no good. Clangs off the left upright, so no first score here at Fullington in 76 years. There's a wide open throw to the left side and it's caught and High stepping into the end zone. Millsaps jumps on the board first, and it's 7 0. Adversity! We're gonna make cows out of you or make men out of you. I need ball players. Make plays? Yeah. Hey, that's over with. All we gotta do is go out there and do what we do. Ford gets across the line, unloads it on the side, and it drops into the Powers with a snap as the shoulder shiver throws and a diving catch was a caught it was in the end zone. So 21 zip and all no saps. And it's on the way and it is good. So if the no saps majors on top 26 nothing. Nobody wants to lose the game, but it starts with us. We gotta pick it up. I every position. And there's a slant over the middle, and it's caught by Anthony Caston. Taking a smaller guy, 5'6", 155-pound sophomore. Harden jumps around, throws left side, leaping grab, made touchdown! Harden yeah! yeah! the quarterback, looked right. Complete left, Anthony Caston. Slightly behind him, he gathered it in on the right shoulder. Flash, Caston. First down, Rams. They've come alive here in the second half. Harden, out of the gun, throws right. Oh, it's picked off at the 48 down the far sideline. And that'll do it as Millsaps beat the Rams 29 to 13. But a lot for Coach Joe Prudhomme and the Rams to build on. Superman. There's not a lot of things that could make him, you know, lay down like limp or hobble or anything. A little nervous, but not too bad. When I was younger, people would bully me for my size. I'm shy, so being big, I never really get to blend into the background. Another one, another one. 